is John Doe here, and his role is set to client. Jane Doe's role is set to admin. So as a client, I should not be able to change my role. However, as you can see here, I'm able to see that the role is available to be changed. I can update my user and it can change it as well. This is a huge security vulnerability that we'll be looking into today. So in our users controller under the update action, you can see that we're simply updating our user and it's passing in the user params here. Now this strong params, it's basically whitelisting the following attributes, first name, last name, email, role, and profile image. While we could just remove this role from our strong params, our security vulnerability is now fixed. However, now we lose functionality where a admin, Jane Doe, would not be able to escalate someone's privileges or lower them. So what we're gonna look at is being able to dynamically, based on our user, either whitelist or blacklist the attributes. So in our application controller, I'm just going to define a new method called permitted params. So I'm going to set this permitted params call in this class. And I'm going to pass in the parameters as well as the current user. So then we'll set the helper method for the permitted params so we can use this elsewhere in the application. And then under our app directory, I'm going to create a new folder called strong params. Then within this folder, I'll create a new file, and this is where we're going to call our initializer for our strong params. So we're just setting our class here, and then let's go ahead and just save the file as permitted params.rb. So I'm gonna include the params user here. So within our strong params folder, I'll create another folder called params. And then I'll create a new file called user.rb. Within our param user, we'll just set up the initial structure here where we have our param user. And then we'll create a new method here called user. And this should look somewhat familiar where we're calling params on our user and then we're permitting a array of attributes here. So we have this user attributes which we now need to declare. Within our user attributes method, we just have an empty array that we're gonna load some stuff into. So we're gonna pass in the first name the last name, and role if the current user is admin. So our role model is being checked here on the current user to see if they're an admin. If they are, then we're going to include the role. If not, then the user will not be able to update the role. And then we're adding in our email and profile image. So this is gonna be a great way to block users from being able to upload or update certain attributes if they do not have the proper access because it won't be whitelisted in our strong params. So back in our user controller, we can remove the user params and we can now update this with permitted params.user. And that's all we should have to do. We can then come down here and just comment out the user params because that's no longer going to be needed. And now if we come back to our application and we try to change our role from client to admin, it looks like it works successfully. However, if we go back and look, it's still set to client. And we can also scroll up in our terminal here and check out our patch action and see that we now have a unpermitted parameter role. So it's working. Within our form, I want to add a way where we can just hide the role completely so it cannot be displayed if the user does not have access. And to do this, we can simply just add in a check here if the permitted params, and notice we're calling the user attributes, not just dot user, includes the role. So this way, if the user has the role in the user attributes of the permitted params, then it will allow them to see this to be able to update it. If they do not have access, then it won't even display. So saving this, we can then go back to our application and have a look. So if I edit our page here, We'll see that the role doesn't even show up. However, if I log in as Jane Doe and if I try to edit John Doe's attributes, you'll see that the role does show up and I will be able to change it successfully and now John Doe is an admin. Well, that's all I have for this episode today. Thank you very much for watching.